Let's try this out here. So let's see if we can get this through again, one step at a time. Can you first understand what the question's asking you to do? So when I read the question here, everybody, it says, how long will the connected envelopes be? So everyone, what does it sound like visually, intuitively, in your way, what does it sound like we're doing? How long, so length, of the two connected envelopes? Here's one, here's another, if I connect them, what does it sound like we're doing? What does it sound like we're doing here? Right on, yeah, we're adding. So again, I didn't ask you anything about conversions, didn't ask you anything about that at all. I'm just sticking to the first step. What am I supposed to find? Not how am I supposed to do it, converting and all that. No, I don't care about that. What are we supposed to find? The connected envelopes length. And so it sounds like we're trying to add the length of those envelopes. Yeah. So let's write that out. Step number one, what we want is the combined length of the envelopes. Because again, what we want is how long will the connected envelopes be? Connect them, add them, boom. Everybody, yes or no, are we good to go on that? We need to add these two lengths together before we continue. Cool. Before we continue, just wanna take a quick moment to thank you for watching this video. And all I ask is that you please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel that way more people just like you can see these videos. But on top of that, if you're looking for more ways to practice the right way and raise your score with guidance without stressing, then I really wholly 100% recommend my ASVAB All Access program. The program, long story short, helps you watch, practice, and master every topic from the word knowledge to paragraph comprehension, arithmetic reasoning, math knowledge, general science. It's there and it's designed to help you succeed with practicing the right way. So. With that said, check out the link in the description to see how it all works because you're going to have ways to learn in every way that you prefer. And you get my guidance and my support all the way until you pass. So don't hesitate. Stop feeling nervous and being anxious and letting yourself feel that way when there's a solution waiting right here for you. Check out the link in the description. That way you see how it works. And then reach out to me if you have any questions about it. Let's get back to raising our scores. So up next here, let's take a second here. Let's look at the information. What does the information say? Step two, it says, hey, what do we have? We have over here saying, William, our buddy Bill, um, says he has two envelopes. One of them is one foot two inches. The other one is 11 inches. So it sounds like we need to go ahead and take the one foot two inches. That's the first envelope. And then we have 11 inches for the second envelope, and we're trying to connect them. And everybody, what, uh, what are we supposed to do with those two lengths? What do we say? Combined length, combining those lengths, connecting them. That means we're gonna be, yeah, adding. Exactly, we're gonna be adding that together. So if I do that, let's connect them. by adding, connect them by adding. So everyone really quick here then, if we go ahead and do two inches plus 11 inches, what is that gonna give us? 13 what Whitney, 13 Taylor or 13 what? 13 inches, 13 inches. That's gonna be 13 inches. And then we have one foot over here added to nothing. So that'll just be one foot. So if we take a look at this, uh, I don't see one foot 13 inches over there. <laughs> I don't see one foot 13 inches over there. What do you guys think we're supposed to do to make this a little more proper? Like, do you guys typically see inches after 12 being said as just inches? No, not really, right? We typically convert any inches past 12 into the groups of feet, right? So this is what that's gonna look like. First question is this, everybody. Remind me again, again, fundamentals. One foot is how many inches? One foot is how many inches? Okay, let's go ahead. Let's take a look here. One foot, 13 inches here. I'm gonna take this one foot. I'm gonna just drop this off to the side over here. I'm gonna keep this 
off to the side. The 13 inches, what I'm gonna do everybody, is it logical, is it okay for you if I just say, hey, 13 inches is the same thing as saying 12 inches and one inch, is that true? And I wrote that so arguably bad that I'm gonna just do this. There you go, one inch. So 12 inches and one foot, right? That's fair, 13 inches is the same thing as saying 12 and one. Now you might be asking, coach, why did you use 12 again? Uh, help me out again, everybody. 12 inches is the same thing as what? Yeah, it's the same thing as one foot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those 12 inches and turn that into another foot. And we already have another foot right here. And then we have the one inch right here. And it's me again, your coach Anderson. Look, you're doing these problems right here on YouTube, but I want you to join me for a live class that's free once a week. I do this because I wanna help other people succeed just like you. So if you wanna raise your score, sign up for my free classes once a week. They're hosted on Zoom. And on top of that, you'll get my free practice test that comes with video solutions so you can learn from every mistake. So there's no reason not to sign up. So go ahead, get off your butt, sign up here, the link there, somewhere over here, figure it out, but sign up and I'll see you in the next class, my ASVAB party people. Let's get back to the problem. So everyone, what do we have? One foot plus one foot, add those together, what do we have? Exactly, Dominic, that's where you gotta memorize it. That's why you have to have these conversions memorized. And that's why I had you put at the top of your paper from the beginning of class, that's gonna be two feet and one inch. And there is your final answer. Boom, two feet and one inch, which is gonna be answer choice D. Two feet, one inch, right there. And so we both know this video just helped you with your test anxiety by just a little bit. And to keep lowering your test anxiety and keep raising your confidence, that's what my ASVAB All Access program is for. The link's right up here. Click it, watch the video on how it works, and you'll see exactly why thousands of my students have raised their scores and gotten the jobs they want. So click there, watch the video, and sign up to raise your score. I'll see you soon.